On the 6th of August, 1945, at 8.15 in the morning, B-29 bomber Enola Gay dropped her payload. 44 seconds later, atomic bomb Little Boy detonated 600 metres above the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Every day, the bells of the clock tower in the Peace Memorial Park chime to remember the 70,000 people who died in the immediate aftermath of the blast and the tens of thousands of others who perished of radiation poisoning in the months and years that followed. doing what I do on some trips she is leaving Mark getting up and to come on a little bit of a walk on my own go and have a bit of an explore I don't really know where I'm going but uh, that's never stopped me before I just want to show you this is the road that leads off to our hotel with some, some little back streets there uh, and then next to it here is the noodle shop that we went to last night the ramen shop where you pay at a machine and uh, it's all um, uh, it's all very different Very nice at the same time. Just looking down the river in Hiroshima. I'd quite like to go and find the T Bridge, which was the aiming point when in 1945 the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. And I'm not sure if it's on this river or if it's a different river or where it is really, but that's what I, I want to find. I'm not really a left-handed cane user, but I'm no good at filming with my left hand, so um, if I want to film whilst walking, this is pretty much the only way of doing it. They have these rather nice um, tactile paths through uh, many um, Japanese cities. The problem is the cane actually gets stuck on it, so what you want to do is actually um, sweep the cane just to the left or right of it, I find. Nice idea, though. If in doubt, follow other people. Another road junction, but hopefully this time going in the right direction. It turns out I was going in completely the wrong direction. But I've gone, I've retraced my steps and we're going back the other way. We just need to find a way of crossing this road. I hope it has a tone, otherwise I'm just going to try and watch for other people. Oh, well, it turns out it, had a, it did have a nice beeper on it. Very handy. And then we'll continue following the tactile path. 
funny, some of the crossings are really difficult, but some aspects of trying to travel as the eye person in, uh, in Japan work really nicely. Right, rather oddly, I had to go through a subway and then there didn't seem to be a way out and it goes on for miles. Seriously, and I have no idea if I'm now going in the right direction at all. Still going. This place is absolutely vast. I think I'm just coming down on the opposite side of where I went up. I couldn't find a way out of the top end. Nice tinkly music though. Well, I must say, that was rather amazing. I went down an innocuous looking flight of steps like that and um, <laughs> ended up in this vast maze. And um, what I should have done, of course, was follow the tactile path and that would have eventually led me out, but I didn't think of that. Now I just need to re-find the direction I was meant to be taking. Direction. I've made it to the Peace Park. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is behind me. You can hear a bell ringing every now and again. And people keep taking pictures of a building across the way, which I think must be the dome, the Peace Dome, but I, I can't see it. So um, I'll keep exploring. I'm having some difficulties getting through to uh, Mark, um, so um, I just hope he picks up my message and knows where I am. So this, I believe, is the Bell of Peace, which I rang once about 15 minutes ago, and then had cause to ring again <laughs> to try and help Mark find me, told him to stand still on the phone and listen to where the bell came from. And hopefully, you'll find me soon. Precious under the care. You always strike the bow with great force. Oh, whoops. Uh, observe the vibration fade away, you may gently strike the bell again. So, what are you meant to do two? Oh. Kind of like a big tap and a small tap. I, I did two, but they were about five minutes mm. apart. And I, 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 I can't worked, claim that they were that gentle. What though? Because I could definitely. It definitely vibrated a bit. Because I was like, oh, it seems to be coming right in front of me, and in fact, it was coming right in front of me. So, yeah, work. He's in pole position for ringing the bell now. He's waiting for the lights. <laughs> Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall. Um, the building was completed in April 1915 under the supervision of Czech architect Jan uh, Lepson, Captain Fancy, with the of Hiroshima, 
with characteristic green dome. Side wall exploded at an altitude of 600 meters approximately 160 meters southeast of the hall, instantly killing everybody inside the building and seriously damaging and completely burning out the building. Um, shaped bridge that um, was the aiming point for the plane that drops the bomb on Hiroshima. Obviously it's not the same bridge. It shakes quite erratically when any heavy vehicle drives over it. Quite disconcerting. Wouldn't mind being on the river though. Mark has just controversially suggested that Blossom is just Blossom. Yeah. Crazy, I know. Mmm. Yeah. I think yeah. that's I think that's a, an offence resulting in deportation. Um, in Japan, I mean that's pretty serious. It's very nice. Nothing against Blossom. I think it's very nice. Makes my day cheery. Um, it's just blossom. Back in service in I think 17. That's quite impressive. It is quite Takes nice. longer to recover from snow in the UK. <laughs> so the other side is where you have both sides. All right. Okay. In a noodle place for lunch. Yep. We have tea at the moment. It's slightly too hot to actually. Well, we'll watch our tea. Yep. And listen to this lovely calming music. Yeah. Strange, but you'd never think we were next to the peace park. <laughs> this is quite impressive. Just to prove that I finished it all. One empty bowl. And Mr. Rogers is getting there. More air than me. There we go. Sorry? Oh, it's pretty empty, isn't it? What's left in mine? I've been really struggling to get a good photograph of the dome because the um, I can't see the structure very well. So I've just left Mark to walk along the promenade bit here and have a go. Another go, preferably without falling in the river. <laughs> Mark
Well, it tells me that there is an eternal flame here. I am, I'm, I'm assuming it's eternal anyway. Flame of peace. I returned to the Peace Park at 8.15 a.m. the following morning to record the Peace Clock chime in remembrance of those who died in the Hiroshima bombing. In the next episode of Bearing Away Live Japan, join me as I explore a beautiful Japanese garden and come with Mark and I as we visit the island of Miyajima. Thanks for watching.